today's video we are going to discuss about unit 1 part 2 flow graphs and path testing we all know that flow graphs is a diagrammatic representation of any statements or any sequences path testing is nothing but testing the software in the sequence manner coming to the concepts of path testing coming to the basic concepts of path testing it is a structural testing method which is nothing but the diagrammatic representation of statement or in a program or anything which involves in source code of a program and attempt to find every possible executable path it attempts to find every step which is executable coming to this point individual path from source code which is nothing but it is a major idea in the path testing individual paths can be identified and tested in this why individual are we are considered means in a program there may be one or two or maybe many more paths can be found in any source code or any program so in these as many as possible paths can be found in order to maximize the coverage of each test case and we use knowledge of the source code knowledge of the source code is nothing but which is defining the test cases and examining the outputs outputs are examined which is nothing but out, outputs are collected and uh, each and every test case is uh, defined flow graph which is nothing but a, a sequence of steps are followed by a program you all know that flow chart which is nothing but uh, we have circles diamonds and rectangular boxes and everything is there to define the statements and nothing but the flow chart uh, nothing but the flow graph it is an a program graph it is directed graph in which nodes are statement fragments edges represent flow of control and hence it is also known as control flow graph in flow graph every statements are represented in the form of circles like 1 2 and 3 and there are no rectangular boxes or any diamond boxes in this now flow graph here we can see the program is simple subtraction firstly we have taken the two inputs x comma y and output x and output y if x greater than y then do x minus y equal to z then y minus x else if y minus x is equal to z which is nothing but x less than y and if output z output and end of program here we can see that first starting the simple subtraction program and here we can see that simple that second input x comma y are stored in the two then output x and output y here we can see that if x greater than y then do x minus y z this is the sixth step and the seventh y minus x z and total two are merged into an z which is nothing but end if and output will be stored in the ninth then output end program that flow graphs consisting of a decision decision nothing but we have considering two to three statements and finally we have taking one decision that to be executed decision is nothing but which is in a program point at which control can diverge here is an example which clearly can define switch case statements here one major decision can be taken here can be three possible outputs 
and in these one of the mag maximum output can be considered and while loop if it is true statement then it must be executed if it is not true then it going to again back and the output is here a flow graphs also consisting of a junction is a program point where control flow can merge junction is nothing but two or more points can be merged and we can also say that two or more statements can be merged here we can see that merging here two outputs are considered here two outputs are get and here merged eight this is called junction a flow graph also consisting of a process block which is nothing but a sequence of program statement whatever the statement which are not involving the merging or junctions or any decision points are called process blocks here we can see 2 3 4 6 7 9 10 these are the process blocks we as we can see that 5 is a decision and 8 is a junction okay Finally, we are going to discuss about what is a path. Here is a definition: a path through a program is a sequence of statements that start at any entry, junction, or decision and ends, which is nothing but here we are taking a path, here which consisting of a process blocks, junctions, decisions are considered in the path. Here we can see that two paths are there. and path 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 these are the two paths which have considered in this and a path may go through several junctions process or decisions or any more path consisting of segments that has the smallest segment is a link between two nodes segment is nothing but 8 2 9 6 these are the segments okay